Oh. I'm gonna check what line now. What pause we're gonna be. Well, let's get straight into this and take the ground. Right, hello everyone, and welcome to this new video on my channel. So today is Tuesday, the 31st of October, or otherwise Halloween 2023, and today we have got game number 38 of the 23 24 season on the channel. We're heading to the Victoria Pleasure Ground for Goal versus Eccles Hill United in the West Riding County Cup round one. So in today's video, I've got my thoughts pre half time and post match as well as the match day vlog itself. And because it's a new ground on the channel this season, we're going to rate the ground. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, here we are, we made it to Google AFC. As you can see the famous water tower in the background. So let's head on into the ground. Cheers, thank you. Property so lovely. Cheers. Hello, I'm around. Here we're going to arrived at the clubhouse, got a pint of Fosters, which I've not had in a very long time. And uh, so is my girlfriend. How are you finding Gull so far? I feel like I'm in someone's front room. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite unique. Like, there's a kitchen up there, there's a few people in front of it, so I can't really show it at a minute. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the whole memorabilia and stuff like that. It's pretty nice, but hey, we'll show you the ground in just a sec. Uh, here we have an his ground. So there we've got the big terrace and some seats. We'll probably stand in that terrace over there. And then the ultras are over there. Okay, so now it's time for my pre-match thoughts. And so this is a bit of a change of plan. We we're meant to be going to Aversley Recreation versus Retford United, but unfortunately that has fell victim to the weather. So instead we're going to the closest ground in the top 10 tiers that I have, I have yet to do, which is Goal. So let's start with the host then. Goal, so they are currently in 15th. At a 20th in the Premier Division of the NCEL, which their opponents, Eccles Hill, are in as well. So two Prem teams playing against each other in this county uh, tournament. So the last result was actually an actual mirror of um, of this match because we had Eccles Hill United at home as well. And beat them pretty convincingly, to be fair. They had a 5-1 win against Eccles Hill, which was actually the first game in charge of the new management team, which were Paddy Kenny and Nathan Hillowell. Um, it were just Nathan taking charge of Paddy weren't actually there so I'm, I'm kind of hoping tonight is his first actual game in charge so that we can see his first game in charge of goal but they came in after like I say they'd had a few problems um, they'd lost 8-0 at home to Frickley and that saw the end of the management team before them um, so like I say that was the third loss in a row and slipped down to third bottom but like I say, they have moved a few places up since that 5-1 win, so I'm hoping uh, they can have a similar result against the same team three days later. And as for Eccles so they are currently in 18th out of 20th, so third bottom in this division. And um, their last result was, well, I've already spoke about it, haven't I? Um, it was a 5-1 away loss to Goal. So, um, like I say, before that, they had a, a pretty entertaining game. They actually won a nine-goal thriller against... Second from bottom, Pickering Town, which were won by five goals to four. So that win against Pickering ended Echo Hill's five games without a win streak. And the last game, the one before that I was actually at, which was against my team, Rosington, Maine. So, um, yeah, if you want to check that video out, it is on the channel. I'll link it somewhere in one of these corners above my head. But um, in terms of previous heads-to-heads, -heads, um, obviously I've just spoke about 
They had the 5 1. They were also in the same division last last season, and Eccles Hill did the double over them. First game were at goal, which Eccles Hill won 2 0. And then in the game Eccles Hill, they won by four goals to nil, which brings me on to my prediction then. So do I think Gould's going to win the second time against Eccles Hill in just four days, or do I think Eccles Hill are going to get revenge? My prediction is. I think Gould's going to do it again here. I think Eccles Hill look in pretty bad form, to be fair. I know we had that win, but it were a close one against second bottom. And I think we're going to ride for momentum. I think uh, management team are going to get two wins from two. And we're going to go through to the second round. So I'm going to go with goal two, Eccles or United, nil. Anyway, they're my thoughts before the match. So we've got ground number 98 now for me. So we're only two off 100 grounds now. And it's the seventh of the 20 grounds in the NCL Premier Division completed. So that's enough from me pre-match. Let's head on back over to goal and see how the game goes. Here come the teams. <laughs> I've absolutely done you on my Instagram story. Oh, nice. <laughs> I've actually ruined you. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing it. Right, here we go. We'll get ourselves settled down. We've got a nice little view here, and like I say, we've got a big terrace over there. We'll probably check that out in a bit, but we've even got a nice little ledge for our pints. Perfect. I'm you excited? Moving. I'm not moving from here. This is what I want in my life. Perfect. Let's see how the game goes. We've got to bore you with loads of interesting Viking history about West Yorkshire and Viking, but you're not. Ah, oh, we're underway. So it's David Blum. <laughs> oh, that's a cute noise. I didn't realise it had gone out of play until I'd like, realised it were like going out for fun. Huh? Oh, 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 sat him down. Oh, is it bar? Planes, trains, and Oh, it's a crossbar. Oh, 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 I thought it'd him. I swear to that. I'll text him, I'll text him. What else for Edda there? I've got a quid, I've got a quid. Edda. Quid's enough, innit? This is nice. Oh, shit. Chance. Good save again. Yeah. What a camembert or something as well. I'm just hungry. Thanks, Lyle. It's a real freaking. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Phil didn't know how hotel room keys were. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Goal. Goal take the lead. Oh. oh, oh, it's two. Two in two minutes. Could be a repeat of Saturday. Bloody hell. This keeper's having the right. Oh. Oh, there we go. Half time, 2 0 to go. And now I can finally show you the other stand. So at half time, it's goal to Eccles Hill United. Nil, and it's one of them. I don't think the scoreline tells a full story here. I think goal's keeper has had an absolutely brilliant game. He's um, made some crucial saves. Eccles Hill's hit the woodwork a couple of times as well. And it's been a pretty close game to be fair. I think Echoes Hills had the better chances, but Ghouls probably have the better play so far. Um, like I said, I've got two goals in two minutes. And um, yeah, it's one of them games, score wise, it's very, uh, like I say, it kind of tells a different story because it's overall it's been pretty close, in my opinion. It's been two pretty similar, similar level of teams um, kind of going at it. It's been a very back and forth game. The midfield's kind of been non existent in both teams. It's kind of gone straight through midfield. It's very uh, direct, like I say, both teams hitting each other on the break and just 
run it straight through to the attacking third without any midfield play whatsoever. So it's been made back and forth. Play, like I say, plenty of action. Quite entertaining to watch as well. So hopefully the second half can continue. So let's head on out, back over to goal and let's see how the second half goes. Right, so we don't have a lot of food options. We've gone for the Cornish pasty. So I'll let you know how that goes at the end of the video. Cover three. Yeah. It's three. It did, it did catch him. It made a great noise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to check that line now. What calls are going to be? It looks like the yellow to me. Oh, it's oh. yellowy. Yellow. <laughs> 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 Drive it. <laughs> what? Just to walk him out, look of it. Oh, oh. Charlotte, Charlotte. Oh, sorry, one Oh, oh, jumps. Oh, it's gone for everyone. No. Oh, 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 is it post? Oh. Full time, 3 0 to go. They advance to the next round of the West Riding County Cup. Full time, it's finished goal three, Ecclesall United nil. And it weren't the best of second half, to be fair. Like I say, goal scored very early in the second half to kind of kill the game off. And but to be fair, to give the due, both teams did try and take it forward, but there weren't nowhere near like as many chances. Game were already kind of over, so yeah, it it really didn't get into the flow of things as much as it did in the first half. Same again, I don't think the score fully reflects. Um, you know, the dominance of uh, of goal. I think it was a pretty even game. Two pretty even teams, in my opinion. But like I say, goal's keeper had a very good game, and um, goal took the chances better, and that's what it came to uh, down to in the end. And um, yep, congratulations to goal. They go through to the second round of the West uh, Riding County Cup, and Eccles Hill are out to focus on the league. So anyway, it's time to rate the ground now. So if you're new to this, how this works then, we've got five categories that we split each team into. So we've got pre-match, catering, the ground, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment. We'll give them a score um, out of five. And the higher the score, the better you place on the table. So it's goals turn this week. So without further ado, let's get straight into this and rate the ground. Okay, I'm going to start off with pre-match then. So... Um, yeah, the clubhouse isn't bad, to be fair. It's kind of hidden away underneath the stand. You have to kind of, like, go around the stand to find it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not bad in there. It's pretty small, but it weren't absolutely crowded in there, if that makes sense. And we've got some nice memorabilia up as well. Like, we've got all your old trophies, loads of old frame shirts, uh, some souvenirs, stuff from other clubs and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it's not bad at all. Nice place to chill what be for the game. In terms of surrounding areas, I I didn't really see a lot. It's kind of in the middle of uh, a load of houses, to be fair. Um, I know you've got the train station's like a four-minute walkway and there's 
Looks like there is stuff around it, but we didn't really get a clear look. So, in terms of pre match, not too bad. I've been to better, but it's definitely not the worst. So, I'm going to go 3 out of 5 for pre match. Next up, we've got catering, and um, it's not going to get too high for catering. Um, like I said, everyone who helped out of the club were absolutely fantastic. Like I say, the two people behind the park were superb. And yeah, they had some decent choices. They had um, on draft, they had. Um, I think it was Dark Fruits and uh, Fosters. So, not a great deal of choice, but like I say, it wasn't bad. Um, and for 7 50 for two pints, can't really complain at that. Uh, really good value for money. And they had cans of John Smith's and Guinness. And um, I think I think they had cans or bottles of Moretti as well. So, they had other stuff um, that were on draft as well. Food wise, not a lot of choice to be fair. I've, I heard they weren't expecting. In as like we were expecting a lot less than we actually got so um i think we sold out quite a bit before half time but it was just basically like a van with food in which uh, looked pretty good to be fair but not a great deal of options to be fair but like i said i don't know if they've just sold out and that's why um like i say everyone who ran it were superb uh prices were pretty good as well just 250 for that cornish pasty that i got um so yeah not too bad not the greatest of choice but okay uh i'm gonna go Two out of five for catering. Next up, we've got the ground. And to be honest with you, I've heard, I've heard a lot of different things with Ghoul. And um, I weren't really going to it with a lot of expectations. But it did surprise me a bit. It's it's different. It's, um, like I say, for this level as well, it's um, it's not bad. It's not definitely not the worst, I've said. Um, but definitely not the best as well. It's kind of in that mid range. But you know me, I like a quirky ground. And this definitely were a quirky ground. Um You've got kind of a running track around it, but it's only like four lanes, so it's not don't feel like you're a million miles away from a pitch like a few that I've got um like your full athletics track around it because it was only a small one. Didn't seem like you were miles away. Um but then like I say, you've got the the terracing um in the main stand, which I really liked, and seats as well as the benches, which we sat on in the second half. And um like I say you can go all the way around the pitch, it is a nice walk. You've got kind of a section on the other side. Um, where you had like the ultras who were kind of making the atmosphere, which I'll get onto next. And um, yeah, I quite, I quite like this to be fair. I can't, I can't really put it too low. Um, I'm gonna go three out of five here because I was quite surpri um, pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but yeah, I quite like this to be fair. It's definitely, like I say, unique and um, yeah, pretty good in my opinion. Next up, we've got atmosphere, and non-league clubs always tend to score low in atmosphere, just because you know it's non-league. Um, it's not somewhere you're gonna get. You don't usually get a lot of um, singing and cheering. However, at goal, uh, you had that section across um, from where we were, who would never stop for ninety minutes. And um, like I say, we've been quite an open stadium. It doesn't travel. It doesn't usually travel great, but like I say, we managed to uh, get the atmosphere going, and you could definitely hear a more game and. Um, they literally never show up for ninety minutes. So, in terms of non-league, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give him a five because yeah, fair play. You you know you kept it going for the whole game and um, really tried to create an atmosphere. And um, like I say, um, as we were walking in, we just heard a drum going, and me and my girlfriend were like, "Is that a drum? Uh, a step five game? It's you know you very rarely get that. And it's, you know, fair play to him." The, Made a real go of it. And um, yeah, can't really give them any lower than a five. And finally, we've got overall enjoyment. It was a decent time, to be fair. Like I say, nice, quiet one. Me and my girlfriend. Um, like I say, we're, we're, it was quite, you know, we had quite a few people, but it weren't rammed. So, you know, you could kind of keep yourself to yourselves on the ground. And um, yeah, we're good. Good, um, good trip out on a Tuesday night uh, when a lot of games have been called off. And yeah. Um, yeah, we had a decent time to be fair. Definitely not the best, but definitely not the worst either. So, I'm going to go around the middle. I'm going to go 3 out of 5 for overall enjoyment. So, that gives Goal a total score of 16 out of 25, which is certainly very good, which puts them in 12th in the table. So, we're actually level on 16 with York City. Uh, the deciding factor if it's level is overall enjoyment, which they both got the same. And then the next one is the ground, which York just scored higher in, but... A very good score, a lot higher than I thought it were going to get. Like I say, I've heard mixed opinions on goal, but I quite liked it. I were quite pleasantly surprised, and it was a lot better than I thought. So, fair play to goal, you scored high on the rate of the ground. Um, thank you very much for your hospitality. And, um, yeah, 
put on an enjoyable night so like i say i will leave the video there thank you very much for watching we're getting close to a thousand subscribers now so please like and subscribe to the channel that would mean the world to me so for the next game we are back at the eco power stadium we've got fa cup action for the first time this season we've got dogs rovers versus atkinson stanley in the first round of the fa cup so until then thanks for watching take care and i'll see you in the next one bye